Hey. hey guys, welcome back uh, to the Take Home Talk with me, Mr. Javen, and Pastor Danny. Hello. Um, so, like we just said, uh, Monday, right this Sunday, we talked about how important it is to put others first um, and to love our neighbor just as much as we love ourselves. Maybe even more. Maybe more. Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. I don't know why we're whispering. Yeah, me neither. So today's take home uh, from Challenge Accepted, how the Bible challenges us to live our lives, says to read Matthew 22, 37 through 40. In Matthew 22, 37 through 40 says this, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all of the law and the prophets. All of the law all and the, the law. prophets. All of the law. The whole book. And the prophets. And the prophets. What you're in the book. Which are <laughs> hang on those two commandments. Think about that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's amazing. I, uh... I actually, I think it is super cool. Especially because at the time, like, the Pharisees were, were so focused on on everything else like trying to make the law be exactly the opposite of loving others right like yeah turning it turning it again to using it to turn against people rather than to love people well which i think it's just kind of a good like a good thing to remember that whatever i'm reading this is like any commandment about how i'm supposed to treat others or talk to people or teach or do anything it fits into how i'm supposed to love god and how i'm supposed to love others yeah, yeah. I love that. I think, you know, it's one of those things where God's entire purpose was the, with the Bible was is to show us how much he, he loves us. And so we in turn love him and worship him and then get us to be a reflection of his love to the whole world. You know, mm-hmm. that's really his goal for you and I is that we are a representation, a physical representation of God's love to all of these people and and really you got to put people first uh you know we've got to serve people and love them and sometimes that's not easy you know because of our sinful nature we're a little bit selfish we we want to take care of ourselves first but god challenges us to put other people first but when we do they experience god's love that's cool yeah yeah so this today's uh journal question is to think of a time that we were selfish and when uh, we put ourselves first, and if that was easy or if it was difficult, um, which I was actually, I, I'm actually a little bit stumped on. I was trying to think about it. Um, I feel like, I feel like, all the time when I had uh, friends stay the night over at my house when I was younger, like in high school, um, almost every time I would be a little bit selfish because it's like my my friends would come over, so my mom would say like, "Oh, you're still gonna clean the house, right?" I'd be like, well, I can clean it tomorrow. She was like, uh, you need to clean it tonight. And I'm like, okay, like, fine. And, I'll, and I did it just because she told me to, but I, I didn't want to, and that was because I was selfish about, you know, I ha- wanted to spend time with my friend um, instead of, you know, doing what my mom was asking me to do. Yeah, absolutely. I feel that. I feel that. You know, there, there's there been a lot of times in my life when I haven't put other people first. Father's Day just passed by, and my wife wanted to do something nice for me. And our kids were crazy, and they were running around, and they were, they were wearing us out because they were being so crazy, and it was bedtime. And she said, hey, Danny, you can go to your favorite store, and you can spend this gift card on anything you want without the kids, and I'll stay home with all three of them. I felt so selfish because I left her at home with three (laughs) crazy kids, and she was like, you know, you go, it's Father's Day, enjoy yourself, and I, I went, and I had fun, but I was like, this is so selfish. She's all by herself with my crazy kids who are absolutely maniacs, Uh, But I was grateful that she did that. She went ahead. She put me first. I, in turn, was a little bit selfish, but it was great. So we want to know in the comment section below, let us know what you thought of this passage. Let us know about a time where where you maybe were a little bit selfish and what you could do differently. Or or tell us about a time you put somebody first. This has been Take Home Talks. This is the Take Home Talks. Take Home Talks. We will talk to you Friday.
See you guys Friday.